Allison already in mid-game form. Thank you very much, Allison. Mike Eads throws the ball in the air. Jamie Lucky, Ron Gruber, the other officials, and Duke dressed in white. Grayson Allen, the senior, the lone team captain. Marvin Bagley the third, averaging a double-double for the year. Productive as those two. I, I had to go all the way back to Dale Davis and Eldon Campbell at Clemson. They were not doing that as freshmen. Down the bucket for T.J. Gibbs. They are going to attack the offensive glass. Fluger missed the three. Mooney has been hot. Double figures in his last two games, and that's a three. Irish just more than two minutes in. Mooney cannot hesitate when he's got an open shot. He has to take it. They have to look for him. Del Carter crashing. Boy, Mike Krzyzewski talked about rebounding at the shoot-around this morning, and they got the message. That's a three for Gary Trent Jr. Interesting to see if fatigue sets in for these two teams. Both played on Saturday. Gebbin the miss and a tip-in. Uh, Nikola Joga, fortunate because he's one of the best players in the country, preseason All-American, ACC preseason player of the year. But if there's one positive, as Gevin scores for Notre Dame, <laughs> Grayson Allen, tough shot, he made it. He's been having a tough time for a while. Coach K was at Army, and Roy Williams was coaching high school golf. He just totally blew up one of our production elements that they worked all week on. And there's a three for Grayson Allen. Is that about the last time you went 10 seconds without speaking? <laughs> Boy, is he a good player. He sure is. And Rex Fluger, as we mentioned, a guard, but he gives him more than four rebounds per game. Nice kick to the corner. Mooney's wide open. They had to have it. And Mooney has six of the 12 Irish points. Trent, one of the best three-point shooters in the conference, passed up the three, hit an elbow two. He has five. He's averaging 14 and a half in his freshman season. That was a big-time shot fake by Gary Trent Jr. He played great on the road at Miami where he put up those 30 points. Cardinals right now putting the most pressure on Virginia in the ACC. We'll be in Louisville next Monday night for Syracuse. Beautiful ball fake by Wendell Carter Jr. to set up the move into the middle. And boy, you have to make John Moody put the ball on the deck. Uh, I'm a younger person. Allen, no, and all kinds of white shirts on the glass. It's Jack White. A nice sequence for Jack White. The tip dunk and the big off or defensive rebound. And Trent, the three out of the corner. Man of the match for the Fighting Irish. You really have to put a body on Notre Dame because they go hard to the defense or to the offensive class, and Duke has not been blocking out. Eight minutes to go in the half. Carter got position and managed to shed Gevin for the easy two. With the ball, you are going to find him sealing off and wide open. Fluger, Mooney feeling it, making it. You cannot come off a ball side corner shooter. Give up the tough two. Don't give up the standstill three. Trent. Yes, boy, he's a great looking shooter. Very disappointed and to have your seniors work so hard and then lose out so much of their senior season is really difficult. But boy, I'll tell you, Gary Trent is finding the range. I read an article today that Gino ripped his bench. You know, when you've won like 100 million games in a row, you have to have something to complain about. Fluger the foul, and it's a chance for three for Grayson Allen. Is being lulled into Notre Dame's tempo. And they've tried to speed it up on the offensive end, and that's led to some turnovers and some mistakes. They are outstanding defensively. Grayson Allen from way beyond the three-point arc. Got a little bit frustrated, missed some easy baskets. A dunk, he told them, just play, the game will come to you. Shot clock running out. Rex Fluger, a deep three for Notre Dame. He has six. The ball loves it up for the one-handed flush by Bagley. The left hand able to finish it, and then just when Mooney just launches that up to the rim. And he has the steal. Stepped in front of Gibbs. Gibbon defending and fouling. Let's see if they can get the ball to Bagley or Carter. That's Bagley for three. He has that kind of range. What, are we going to have a benefit dinner for you sometime <laughs> this week? You 
should. There's a three. Boy, did Notre Dame need that one from T.J. Gibbs. Two-three zone. Last couple times down, times down for Notre Dame. The ball jumping to the bucket. Six three one eighty six out of Newcastle, Delaware. Kevin drops it in. They could use more from him. He's been averaging in a nice feed there by Gibbs. And one of the toughest players in the country, Dakota Mathias. They're, they are very, very good. Good cut. And a lot of steps there, but not too many. Gibbs has 16. And it's a 10 point lead for Duke. Grayson Allen. He has played under control as a, as a two guard in different possessions. Mm -hmm. Another turnover. Notre Dame with Mooney running the floor. They're within eight with a long way to go here at Cameron. The Irish bench thought there was a foul. Now Duval, the finger roll, and Trump puts it back up and in. Uh, Notre Dame was knocking on the door to really put some pressure on this Duke team. Gibbs rifles it underneath Torres and a foul and game pressure now on Duke Notre Dame sticking with the 2-3 zone big three by the ball. That's not his game And the state has a really good team And the octagon of doom that's gonna be a tough out mm. Wendell Carter Yoga terrible pass intercepted by Grayson Allen all the way for the dunk. Championship level team. You have to respond out of timeouts. First getting the ball to Wendell Carter Jr. for an inside score. And then Grayson Allen with the steal and the emphatic finish. And now the crowd into the game. Mike Bray having to take yet another timeout. Gibbon. A lot of maneuvering, wow. and it paid off for him as he scored. TC play went up with two hands to contest that. That was an excellent move by Martinez Gavin. Grayson Allen is out of the slump. 18 tonight. Gibbs, nice pass. Boy, is he a good player. And so is Bagley, who rejected Gibbon. Loader by Treadle is short. He tipped it up, and it wouldn't go. Jack White. Now Trent for three. Because the defense is not thinking about defending anymore. They're thinking about playing offense. That would take the over on a million. Jack White a three. Five points tonight for White. Matches his career high. And there's 12 points now for Marvin Bagley the third. Carter back Gavin in and scored over him. 15 for Wendell Carter Jr. And Trent, Mr. Big Monday. He's open at the three-point line. Give it to him. Instead, that's not a bad option either. Carter the jump off the feed from Grayson Allen. Gibbs no. Gibbon kept it alive. Jogo attacks. And he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Maybe get some reps. Jack White penetrates and had the shot blocked by Austin Torres. And then Jogo, the dunk at the other end. Looking forward to that 30 for 30 on Bill Belichick and Bill Parcells. That's supposed to be, you know, all the 30 30s are good. There's so many times over the years I've tuned into a 30 for 30. I didn't really think I was interested in the subject matter. In the tradition of 30 for 30, terrific. I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see. I've seen a couple clips, but. Syracuse and Louisville next Monday night. Also an excellent story on ESPN.com today by Joe Lenardi, probably ghost written. Joe go the three, the orange. I think they'll still make it. That's a big one for both teams, Louisville and Syracuse, next Monday night.